Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Tyler. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys a little bit about frame rates. I'm going to be teaching you guys when it is good to shoot in 24 frames per second, 60 frames per second, and even 120 frames per second to get the best smooth, buttery looking shot possible out of your clip. When I started filmmaking, I would just shoot in whatever frame rate possible and a lot of the times was I was shooting in 60 frames per second because it was available and because that was the thing, the trend, get that smooth, buttery, slow motion footage that's going to look super good. But that's not the fact. You want to make sure you're shooting the right frame rate for the right situation, whether that be for interviews, whether that be for some action sports or whatever else it is, you're not always going to want to shoot in slow motion to get that smooth footage. A lot of the time, if you know you're going to slow your clip down, shoot for that clip. Shoot in 60 frames per second or 120 frames per second, but otherwise, always shoot for the clip you're going for. For example, if you're shooting interviews, you don't want to be shooting it in 60 frames per second for a lot of reasons. One is because it's not going to look super smooth if you have it playing in a regular speed with a 60 frames per second clip. Secondly, sometimes your timestamp and your time code is not going to line up with your audio and you're going to get really choppy audio throughout your video. Okay, okay, that's enough of me talking about it. I'm going to take you guys somewhere and I can actually show you what it means to shoot in those different frame rates. So let's go. All right, welcome back. We are here in a beautiful location on Vancouver Island and this place is called Gold Stream Provincial Park and it is located about a 15 minute drive from the city of Victoria. And today I'm going to be showing you guys the difference between frame rates. So we're going to be going over different frame rates which are 24 frames per second, 60 frames per second and 120 frames per second and when to use those, how to use those and how to set up your camera properly to get the best smooth slow motion you can or best high quality image you can in those frame rates. Right now when I'm filming this it's actually filmed in 24 frames per second and that is going to give you the most natural movement that you see. So as you can see when you wave my hand in front of the face here you notice my hand is a little bit blurred out. That's because that's natural to what the eye is seeing. So that's what you want when you're filming interviews or anything that you know that you're not going to slow down in the uh, editor app. So um, for example if you want to shoot something in slow motion like someone running or something like right now we're by a river a beautiful waterfall here and we want to get that nice butterly smooth slow motion that's when we're going to pump it up to 60 frames per second and even 120 frames per second so the first shot i'm going to do is rachel is just going to be walking along this path here and i'm going to film it in 24 frames 60 frames and 120 frames per second and show you guys the difference so this one is filmed in 24 frames per second and it is of rachel's feet walking up the hill the second one here is slowed down and filmed at 60 frames per second and the third one is 120 frames per second of Rachel walking up the hill. So the benefit of this is you're getting every detail the higher the frame rate you go. And like I said, if you're filming action sports or something that you know you want to slow down, that's when it's going to be good for you to actually slow that clip down to get every detail of the shot. So to give you a little bit more of an explanation what it means to film in 24 frames, 60 frames, 120 and so on, basically what that means is that you are getting 24 still photos per second in your video sequence. So when you're running or walking, you're getting 24 still images in that video segment there per second. So when you go to 60 frames per second, you are getting 60 still images per second in that video and so on. When you do 120, you're getting 120 still images per second in that clip. But if you try to film 24 frames per second and you go to slow that down, your clip isn't getting as much data in it because you're only filming 24 frames per second in that second. So if you have a 24 frame per second clip and you try to slow it down by 50 or 40%, you're going to get jittery movements because you're not getting every detail or data in that clip as you would if you filmed in 60 frames. I hope that makes sense. Seeing visuals always helps me understand what that means and when you can and can't film in slow motion or in 24 frames per second. So something to remember and to keep note of if you're filming in these fra different frame rates is that you can only slow them down a certain amount um, in your post-processing process. So if you're filming in 24 frames per second, you won't be able to slow anything down because like I said, you're only getting 24 frames per second and that is what the natural eye is seeing right now. Um, if you slow it down to 60 frames per second, you can slow down your clip to about 
to have nice smooth footage. So anything under 40%, it's still gonna start looking choppy. And that's when it comes into 120 frame per second is when you wanna go under that. So if you're filming in 120 frame per second, you can actually slow your clip down to about 20% without getting that choppy look. And at 20%, your footage is gonna look super, super smooth. The second thing to know and remember is when you're filming in these different frame rates, you have to make sure to change your shutter speed. So naturally, when you're filming at 24 frames per second, you wanna make sure that your shutter is at 50 shutter because that is doubling your frame rate and that will give you the nice smoothest clips possible. So when you go up to 60 frames per second, you wanna make sure you're doubling that as well. So if you're filming in 60 frames per second, you wanna jump your shutter speed to 120 or to 125 and so on. So if you're filming in 120 frames per second, you wanna double that as well to 240. So just remember that when you're filming slow motion, you always wanna make sure you are doubling your frame rate that you're filming in to get the smoothest clip possible. If you're filming in 120 and you shoot your shutter in 120, you're not gonna get that smooth slow motion footage that you're looking for. And that is something that a lot of people forget or when they're beginning, they just don't change and they're wondering why am I not getting it smooth and buttery like this person is or why is it not looking nice and smooth like that guy? It's because you gotta make sure if you're filming in different frame rates, you also match and double your shutter speed. So yeah, now I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like with a hand going in front of the camera and show you guys what it looks like not slow down and slow down in all different frame rates to get a better idea of what it really looks like filming in 24 frames, 60 frames, and 120 frames. The first one is in 24 frames per second. The second one is in 60 frames per second. And the third one is in 120 frames per second. I created some screen grabs here to show you guys a little bit more what this means and make a little more sense of it. So the first clip here is filmed in 24 frames per second. And this is what your natural eye is looking at in video is a motion blur. And that's natural to the eye and the most smooth and pleasing for the eye to look at. The second one here is a still frame of 60 frames per second. And you can tell that the hand is blurry, but it's a little bit more clear. The third one is filmed in 120 frames per second. And you'll notice that the hand is very clear and you're seeing every detail of the hand. I remember one of my first trips I went on and I was on one of these older planes and I could look out the window and see the propeller spinning. And for my eye, all you can see is a blur of motion, right? But when you take your phone out and you film that blade, if anyone's done this, you'll notice sometimes you'll be able to see the blade spinning and it looks all jittery and you're wondering, why is my phone picking this up, but my eye is not? That's because your phone is actually filming in a really, really high shutter speed and it's getting every single detail of that blade. It's blurry, right? You don't see every detail on my hand. That's because I'm filming this camera right now in 24 frames per second which is also what the natural eye is seeing. So that is one of the reasons if you know you're not gonna slow your clip down, just make sure you shoot it in the correct frame rate. For example, if you're filming the propeller of a plane, you don't wanna shoot it in 120 frames per second because you don't wanna see each individual blade as it's spinning. You wanna see that smooth buttery motion that's natural to the human eye. Anyways, I hope that helped you guys out a bit and explain a little bit about frame rates. For me, starting off in filmmaking, this was key to know and something that I wasn't aware of when I started getting into filmmaking. I would just grab my camera, get out there and start filming, but you will notice such a difference if you start following these guidelines and actually filming in shutter speeds and frame rates that are suited for the clips you wanna capture whether that be in 24 frames per second, 60 frames per second, or even really, really slow motion, like 120 frames per second. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe down below, leave a comment, and let me know what else you guys like to see on this channel. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.